The execution of Lisa Montgomery has been moved to January 12th. She's on death row for the 2004 murder of an expectant mother and the kidnapping of her unborn baby. Montgomery's lawyers say that her life should be spared because of her mental illness and the abuse she endured. KCTV5's investigative team poured through doctor's notes and exhibits from the trial. We're also reviewing the case with sources who helped solve this terrible case. Investigative reporter Angie Racono traveled to the scene of the crime, Skidmore, Missouri, about 12 miles southwest of Maryville. And tonight, she's talking with the Nottoway County Sheriff. This is a part of all of us that we'll never forget. It'll always haunt us. Bobby Joe Stennett was butchered in this house. Her and Zeb's bedroom was here in the front, and then the next room was where the murder took place. I, I can't imagine. Choked with a rope. She was strangled more than once. The baby was cut from her stomach, and Bobby Joe slowly bled out. It left me angry that somebody would come in and do this to another human. The house where Bobby Joe lived is destroyed. In many ways, so is Skidmore. And almost everyone connected to this case. I've seen the other side of her. She's a monster. Uh, she, um, yeah, there's no redeeming quality there. Lisa Montgomery's lawyers argue she's mentally ill has brain trauma, and has suffered sexual abuse and torture all of her life. Her life should be spared. What are your thoughts on that? It needs to proceed. Uh, it needs to proceed. Um, she meticulously planned this for days, if not months. It affected all the investigators that were involved. Sheriff Rodney Strong was an investigator with the major case squad back in 2004. We were angry. He tracked leads to Melbourne, Kansas, and says he found the most hideous sham. And she stood up and she fake walked like a woman had just given birth, um, like it was painful for her. Turns out Lisa Montgomery was never pregnant. She was a killer who fed those around her a pack of lies. Investigators and even her husband, there was no birth. It was murder and kidnapping. Lisa stepped in behind her with a garrote, wrapped it around her hands and reached down and, and went over her head with it and, and strangled her. Sheriff Strong unpacked brutal details for those feeling sorry for the killer. Montgomery researched how to perform a C-section. She made a dry run to Skidmore the day before the murder. Montgomery brought umbilical cord clamps, a rope, and a knife to the Skidmore house. He believes Montgomery knew right from wrong the day she was caught and points out Bobby Joe fought for her life. She was grabbing the knife. She had Lisa Montgomery's hair in her hands. Sheriff Strong is haunted by Bobby Joe's feet. Blood was on the soles. The medical examiner explained Bobby Joe was alive when the baby was cut from her stomach. She moved her legs and feet. I have no sympathy for Lisa Montgomery for what she did. That was the most monstrous act I can think of. Lisa Montgomery is scheduled to be executed January 12th. Our investigation into this brutal murder continues Wednesday night. I have so much guilt that she never got out. Lisa Montgomery's sister speaks out. Do you believe there was sexual abuse? I was raped in that home. So yes. New details and jarring reports. We trace the path of a killer. Wednesday night at 10. Angie Ricono, KCTV5 News.